reckon we should do teammates, quality battle, and race. So who's going to win the quality battle out of the teammates, and who's going to finish higher in the standings? So we'll, should we go Red Bull first? I think that'd be quite an easy one. <laughs> Max. Really? Just for what? <laughs> Max. Max for everything. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So Red Bull out of the way. We got Max and Max. Um, Mercedes is a tricky one because Mr. Qualifying. What can he do in that Mercedes? Yeah. Obviously, we saw a little snippet of it in Bahrain when Lewis was, had COVID and he put him on the front row. Like, the car did not fit him at all. It, it makes you think well, he could potentially beat Lewis in qualifying. But then we don't know about the race. The race could be completely different. Lewis could obviously do a masterclass or George might do a masterclass. You don't, you don't know. They're two very good drivers yeah obviously we've we all know what lewis can do in a mercedes but we've only seen what can do in a mercedes with one race yeah what, what can he do all the preparation and so on um i'm 50 50 yeah who can do better i'm unsure i think it will be very close but I think Lewis will do both. I think Lewis will win quali and the race. I think he'll get more points throughout the, throughout the season. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. Obviously, he wants to go for the eighth title. Mm. Um, I don't think George is obviously going to go for his first this year. Yeah. I think they're going to look towards more the team, mm. like the constructors. Um so I do think Lewis will probably beat George in races. Yeah, I do think that George will have a few crashes this year. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to say it. I don't want to be the one. But you've got to look like when Max went to Red Bull, he had a lot of silly incidents. When Charles went to Ferrari, Charles let his um. it get to him a few times. I mean. I'm not saying it is going to happen, but if Lewis and George find themselves on track together, or George and Max, Max doesn't back out, George doesn't back out, like... Yeah. I don't know, I think, <laughs> we see, Max and Charles, when they joined Ferrari and Red Bull, they was younger. Mm. They're all the same age, they're all 24, um, and now that has got given chance to be in the big team after being in Williams for three years it's like well I, I don't think he will crash no but I think maybe he'll have one maybe two yeah. but if you look at what he's done in the Williams he hasn't crashed a lot <clears throat> Imola um, both oh, years, yes. both okay. both oh. years at Imola. <laughs> he crashed out of yeah, points. Yeah, both started getting the points as well. <laughs> both times. Okay, if we ignore um, Imola, if we if we pretend yeah. Imola didn't exist, he's never it's crashed. Just race Imola, I'll put <laughs> it out the door. You know, see you later. Yeah. Uh, so he, George has <laughs> never crashed, so that's good. Um, so, <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think he necessarily will, but I wouldn't be like. I wouldn't be shocked or annoyed at him or like, you know, if he did have a few clumsy incidents. But it is his fourth fourth season now, so Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah it'll be his fourth. Yeah, so he, he shouldn't he probably shouldn't be having those silly incidents, which is um probably in his favour. So Mercedes were doing Lewis and Lewis and Red Bull doing Max and Max, but Ferrari's gonna be interesting. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm saying Charles for quality, signs for points. I don't know. I really do not know. Um. A few moments later. I might do the opposite. Yeah. I think Carlos for qualifying and Charles for the race. Okay. McLaren. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> this is easy. I think I think this is gonna be the easiest one out of all of them. Uh, I'm gonna say Lando for both. That's a shock. Um, yeah. I'm... 
<laughs> I'm I'm also gonna say Lando for both. Um, I don't think Danny Rick's a poor driver. I think it's an outstanding driver. I think Lando is just that good. The next the next few might be quite easy as well, actually. Um, Alpha Tauri. <sighs> Um, I don't want to take anything away from Yuki, but again, I think Gasly is so much better than people think he is. Yeah, he he was so consistent last year. Yeah. Uh, if he has the car, he could be potentially up in the top three, which I think everyone would like to see. Um, yeah, I agree. I think Pierre will just run away with both of them. Yeah, definitely. I think the only way that they that he can get his contract extended is if he's within sort of 20 or 30 points of Gasly and I don't think that's going to happen so like I don't think he's a bad driver I think he'll get a fair few points but it might be his final year but obviously like he, he's quite funny and he's quite a nice guy so I wouldn't be disheartened. Yeah, but that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't keep a Formula 1 seat does it? No exactly um Money does apparently. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> who's next? Who is next? Al- Alpine. Is it Alpine. This, yeah, this would be a hard one. I don't know. I think Esteban has got a lot he wants to show. Mm. Um, I think he's got the potential. The win last year was kind of off given to him because of what Alonso did yeah. in the race, um, it, it's kind of like, well, would you have got that win if Alonso was there? Yeah. Like, no doubt he's yeah. talented, but I think he's got to prove it a bit more. I think it would have been very interesting. If Alonso wasn't there, then obviously Lewis would have caught Vettel and Ocon. I think yeah. Ocon did a good job at keeping Vettel behind him. But, yeah, yeah. But if Lewis exactly. got him, it like if Lewis overtook Vettel, I think it would have been a much different story. I don't think he could have kept Lewis yeah. behind him. I think Alonso will do both. Do you? Okay. I. Yeah. I think it will be a long Ocon and Quali, and I think Alonso will score more points throughout the the season. Who's after Alpine? So Aston Martin. This is going to be a tricky one, you know, because. I, I don't think so. Do you not think so? No. Are you going to do... I want to know, okay. I, I Are you going to say Stroll for both? No. Are you going to say Seb for both? Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. Okay. <laughs> right, here's my thinking. So, Seb's contract's up, isn't it, this year? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. And so is Stroll's, I think. And I know his dad, obviously, is... I'm not sure on Strolls, I don't think. I think it's a multi-year deal, so it could be either this year or next. Okay. Because if Vettel outscores Stroll again and out-qualifies him this year, Aston yeah. Martin can't get rid of him. Because they'll keep Stroll because his son's in the team. Uh, his dad owns the team. So yeah, they, they, yeah. they can't get... I mean, obviously, I know Formula 1, they will. They got rid of Perez to get Vettel in anyway. But, like... If Vettel outscores Stroll two years in a row and outqualifies him in the battle, they can't really justify bringing someone else in, can they? If if Seb wants to stay, they probably have to give him that respect, I guess. Yeah, but then you look at the team previously. Yeah. Look at Perez. Yeah, there's no loyalty in F one, is there? <laughs> like... Oh, there's none. Um, obviously, Perez had quite a good 2020. Yeah. Then him to not have a contract. Yeah. Well, he did. He, he had a contract. <laughs> Stroll bought yeah. I think Lawrence Stroll paid him off to go, basically, and kicked him out from the team. So, yeah, it's yeah. not that great. They'll probably do the same for Seb, or they'll just get someone else in. But I don't know who they would get in. It could open up it's... lots of... There's lots of drivers coming up in F2 um, who could potentially fight for championship this year, who they could get in. But like they're all with Red Bull, um, yeah. BMs. I don't think there's any Ferrari this year in F2. Right. Um, 
I've got a few for Salva um, and Mercedes. Uh, so. Ooh, De Freeze. Mercedes powered mm. engine to an Aston Martin could work. Um, there's quite a few they could potentially nick off other teams yeah yeah i think i think seb's got in the bag yeah i think his experience over Stroll. i don't think Stroll's bad i think Stroll's race pace is better than his quality pace i thought Stroll would have done a lot better last year yeah and um, he's been with the team for a few years seb was obviously brand new to the team and Still Seb kind of podiums, showed really. him up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, technically one podium, but he should have had two. Um, but, yeah. yeah, Stroll wasn't really... I think Seb has it, but I just I want to see Stroll do do well. He's been here for so long. I Part of me thinks he's going to be another Hulkenberg or something like that, where he just doesn't actually quite do it. Um, yeah, yeah I, I agree. But I'd say Seb for both. And then we've got... Another easy one, um, Alfa Romeo. <laughs> it's got to be Bottas. Yeah. Obviously, we don't know what Honey Joe can do in mm. uh, over the F1 weekend. Um, uh, obviously, he's shown pace in testing, second. Um, so, I don't think that can be disregarded. Yeah. I, I don't think, if anything, he might do qualifying better than the race um mm. obviously Tass, he's been with a championship winning team so i think he'll still do both of them really yeah. well i think um i think bottas will easily win quali i mean lewis said that bottas was the closest ever teammate he's had for quali pace and it won that pace he is unbelievable um it's definitely going to be bottas for quali um I want to say Bottas for the standings as well, but I wouldn't like if the, if the car's not that good. I wouldn't be surprised if Joe had like a couple of good weekends and got some good points, sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. Williams. This is actually a tough one, I think. Or are you, you going to say Albon for both? <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty much stuck in the middle. Mm. Obviously, huge qualified TV quite a lot um just a little bit <laughs> yeah just just a teeny tiny bit um <laughs> i'd like to see latifi do well in qualifying mm. um i don't know if he's if he's got that one that pace yeah i think album might just have it yeah. um he's obviously got a lot to prove yeah. he's on a year contract i think um, so, yeah. so he obviously wants to prove to other teams and obviously williams that he's here to stay mm. um so i think album will do better in qualifying there is the race don't know it it all depends on the car really but whoever can get the most out of the car probably should get into the points um Part of me thinks Latifi yeah. do better in the race. Mm. Albon's won that pace is quick. I think Albon for quali, and I think it will be very... It, again, it could be very close, but I'm going to go Albon for both, I think. Oh, yeah, oh. It's a, it's a bold move, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'll be mind. interesting. <laughs> yeah. And then... Haas. Haas. I, I know what I want to say, but it might be a bit harsh on Mick. <laughs> if I say that. <laughs> Oh, Mick. Oh, this is just Mick slander. And I, what? Go on, man. Oh, this... Hit me with your prediction. <laughs> Obviously, Mick qualified his face last season um, a lot. Yeah. But with Magnussen having the experience in F1, a lot more experience than Mick, it makes you think, will he do, outdo him on the one lap pace? Mm. Um, or potentially the race, but I've I'm gonna do Mick for qualifying. This is bold, <laughs> and um, Magnuson for the race. Okay, 
Um, I mean, <laughs> Van Dessen put his, he has some very fast speed. I remember he put the Ferrari, um, the Ferrari, um, the Haas in, I think P5 at Monaco, in that rich energy Haas, which did not deserve to be there. Um, so, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh. are you going to go back with what you've said now? <laughs> like, 